Hi, we're here with Ken Ferry at the Crop Tech site of Corn College. Just had a few questions for him. Ken, what are the Farm Journal test plots? Farm Journal test plots are what we would call, I guess, demonstration research. They're not really a, laid out in a scientific format as far as you, what you would at small scale research. These are full size fields, so we'll take maybe an 80 acre field and replicate our trial in it uh, a dozen times. It might be nitrogen, it might be fungicide, you name it. But the uh, plots are done at full scale size with full size planters, so they're 12, 24, 16 row blocks that we put out there in a replicated fashion. And what we're trying to do is take things, uh, concepts, ideas, equipment to the field and put them in live uh, situations out there where a farmer would actually be looking at it in, in uh, half mile, quarter mile runs. And then we take large scale carts, as is one here today, and we go out and we harvest that data uh, and we actually weigh it. So we get solid weights to, to work off of to know, you know, did it really make a difference? And if it's uh, something that is a substantial difference out there, it'll show up if we replicate it enough times. The plots take a look at a lot of different concepts or ideas of some the farmers bring to us, uh, some that we dream up ourselves, looking at fertility, looking at fungicides, looking at seed treatments, uh, row spacings, tillages, uh, differences, all kinds of different things out there. So it's it's really a, a program that's stretched across a lot of different soil types. We're in muck soils, uh, we're in sands, we're in clays. Our client base gives us the opportunity to put these trials out there in a lot of different situations to see if they react the same, for instance, in a strip-till or no-till environment as they do in somebody in full tillage. So. It's kind of a mixing melting pot of putting a lot of different ideas or concepts out there and then trying to put some actual numbers to it so we can see does this thing replicate itself a number of times. Can you tell us what's happening during harvest in the plots? Right now the harvest is underway with the plots. We've been so far focusing on corn but soybeans is about to start. I've seen a lot of swings within the field. So it's a situation within one replication there could be as much as a hundred bushel swing. 20 years of doing this, this is probably the most uh, variability that I've seen within the plot. So thank goodness for uh, yield maps and NDVI aerial photos. We'll have to do some dissecting as we look at the plot data this year because of the variability from one end of the field to the other. But I think it still brings us good information. Uh, we're seeing right now here in Central Illinois, for instance, nitrogen is going to be a big factor in how some of these plots turn out. So we have to make sure that if we're studying a fungicide, for instance, uh, how the nitrogen interrelates to it. So uh, a lot of variability, but uh, off to a good start. And how do you think harvest is shaping up across central Illinois? I would say for the northern part of our territory, it's kind of slow. The southern part where the poorer yields were, the lack of rain, uh, we had a lot of dry corn and that harvest was moving along at a pretty good pace and, and even a lot of tillage being done already on the corn side. But from central Illinois north, uh, the corn's been slow to dry down, and that slowed up the harvest. That's a good thing. A long, slow grain fill tends to give us better yield. So the, the fact that it's coming along slow may be depressing for the farmer to some extent if he's impatient, but it's actually a good thing in yield. Where the higher moistures have come from in our plot so far, that's where the higher yields are coming from as well. So I would say the, the uh, southern half of the state has been a pretty quick-paced harvest. They're trying to chase down corn. But from central to the northern part where we receive more water, uh, guys are a little bit frustrated. It's, it's uh, hardly been started or hardly uh, uh, any whole fields out in that area. So uh, I think kind of a mixed bag. Thanks, Ken.